The last question. Um, right. As you've said uh, repeatedly, you know, the U.S. chose to be cautious as it suspended funding to UNRWA um, for allegations that 12 of its 30,000 person staff, you know, may have been involved in the atrocities on October 7th. And as you described yesterday, you know, that's kind of standard U.S. policy to have this type of caution with all sorts of entities. But, you know, as our colleagues have asked you over the past few months, there have been broad and specific human rights violations that we've been concerned about, human uh, attacks against hospitals and churches, targeting people with white flags, both um, Israeli hostages and Palestinians, um, torturing Palestinians, and now, of course, this, this attack on Henry Job's family and then leaving her to die horribly. Um, and so I'm wondering, on all this, you know, you've said we're looking into it and Israel is investigating, but in each of these cases, the U.S. doesn't seem to be as cautious with its money and support as it is with UNRWA. Um, it's to the point that the ICJ and the U.S. court both say Israel may be plausibly committing genocide. Still, U.S. money is coming, while the U.S. shut off UNRWA funding immediately. So I'm just wondering if you could explain that sort of difference. Let me say there is, a, I think, a false equivalency embedded in that question between members of a terrorist organization who went out and intentionally killed innocent civilians. Right, that, is, right. that, no, that, that is the difference. When you have members of Hamas who participated in October 7th, according to the allegations made by the government of Israel, that I should say UNRWA itself found credible. Those are allegations that UNRWA found credible of people intentionally participating in a terrorist action to murder civilians. That is different than a military campaign conducted in an environment where that terrorist organization hides behind human shields. And so we will continue to engage with the government of Israel about how to minimize civilian casualties. We, uh, there have been far too many or, over the course of this campaign and how to prevent civilians from being killed. But I think there are very different matters for the reasons I just articulated.